What a beautiful May day in Seattle. Today we're going to install a Honda OEM trailer light harness. I've already installed the hitch, as you can see, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the wiring. As I mentioned, the hitch is already installed by me, but uh, here's a second unboxing of the harness as received. Um, here's for the actual trailer uh, controller, if you so choose. For the brake controller. Uh, the rest is just the requisite parts and things you need for attaching to the OEM hitch, as well as uh, there's some like shielding tape fuses if you don't already have them up front. Um, general zip ties, I think those hold to the, the hitch itself. Um, some nice bracketry that some of the other non OEM uh, harnesses don't come with. The thing that's super important to add is it's not shipped with instructions, but at this eStore.Honda.com, they have a very comprehensive installation instruction manual, which I'm going to follow. Um, so print your own or keep a digital copy. Basically goes through step-by-step step with the entire process here. Um, so that's what I'll be following. Uh, um, so digging into the car, we're gonna pull back the shield. Um, as best as I can with one hand, I'm going to uh, remove the tray. Actually, probably not. I'm going to set the camera down. So we're going to carefully detach a couple pieces of fascia here. One being this lower sill that uh, is the lower part of the door sill. And then we've got some little plastic clips here and this guy as well. These come out with just a quick little tug. Might be a little bit harder depending on if yours have been removed or not, but just kind of be careful. Get a So in the little bucket here, we're gonna kind of pry with our hands here, push with our thumb. And pop the bucket out. Pull on the other side there too. Get these little clips out. Oh, come on. Another one over here. I'm just trying to get these little catch things out of the way there. We're gonna continue, pop one more out. That pretty much gains us, oh, we're stuck on some more parts. So I've never noticed this before, but I can only assume this hook is used to hook onto that, because it literally doesn't go anywhere else. So here we go. Give us some more space here. I'm going to grab the nearest very worn out yellow bungee and tie it off to something on the other side. Yellow bungee installed nicely and the work area that we're looking at right here is around here and then there's some clips that we're going to install and this is the main pass through right here for the uh, the rest of the hitch wire. Go ahead and pry on this little guy. There we go, boom, daylight. So I have the harness and the seven pin. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually push the ground and the main terminal connector through the bottom of the car in 
um, the grommet works in the opposite direction, but that's okay because there's no way we're going to fit the seven pin through the actual uh, the grommet pass through. So if you read the installation manual, there's actually a blurb that talks about installing the wiring before the hitch. And I see no reason to do that other than this pass through and cut out that you need to trim actually <clears throat> interferes with the plate and it's gonna be kind of hard to uh, get in there with a traditional saw. But I do have a little bone saw and uh, that's what we're gonna use. <laughs> Supplied hardware, we're gonna install those right there. remnants from the last owner. With the relays installed and the ground bolt, we're going to go out to the car for the meat and potatoes.